Hello world, this is Wilson with Easy Homemade Alcohol. Today we're going to talk about easy distillation. I'm going to show you how to distill alcohol without having a still. Now this is a very basic, basic process. Now the mechanics of it, there are dangers in the mechanics of it and how it all works. One thing, I'm going to be using a hot plate. If you're using a stove or a fire or something, then you're going to have an open flame, which is going to be dangerous to use. It could cause problems. You could have fires. Not only that, but we're going to be boiling alcohol. So having boiling alcohol vapors, you're going to have open flame and alcohol vapors is, could be a very bad explosion. So if you're going to do this or try something similar to this because somebody else told you to do it, then be careful. Always use your head. Don't ever assume you know everything until you feel comfortable enough that you can do it. What I'm going to use is a basic pot distillation. What I'm going to use is a pan or a pot. Put it down here. Fill it up with my, um, my sugar wine. Put a small bowl inside of it. And I'm going to put a large bowl on top of it. Just like that. And as and then I'll put ice or cold water in the large bowl on top. And as the alcohol vapors rise up, they're going to condense when they hit this cold stainless steel with this water on top of it. And it's going to drip down into this bowl in here. Or inside of here. It will be. But it will be like this. And it will drip down inside of it. Very easy. Very simple. Uh, I've actually seen that it's still being used in some places uh, around the world. A lot of poverty stricken areas with not a lot of money. Or a lot of really rural areas in Asia and stuff. So this is still being used. Um, now, with distillation, we're going to be boiling the alcohol out at about 180 degrees. Now, 180 degrees varies depending on your elevation. If you're at sea level or if you're at seven or 8,000 feet on a mountain, it's going to be, the atmospheric pressure is going to be different. So it's going to change a little bit. Another thing, when you boil alcohol, alcohol breaks out into two parts. It's going to come out of methanol and ethanol. The first part of alcohol is going to be methanol, which is a dangerous, dangerous poison. And it can make you sick if you drink it. Um, I don't think people, I don't think you can die from it, but it's going to mess up your stomach. It's not going to be fun. So just be careful. So what I do is a quarter cup. That's what I figure. Quarter cup for every one gallon. I got one gallon here. So I'm going to figure a quarter cup inside my bowl. Put my bowl on, put my, or put my bowl in, put my bowl on top. And I boil it, pull it up and check when I got a quarter cup in here, dump it out. Just get rid of it. Rinse this thing out real well, put it back in, put the bowl back on top. And then I'm assuming this is 5% alcohol. Regardless of what it is, I don't really care. I just assume it's 5% alcohol. So if that means if this is 5% alcohol, that means 5% of this is um, well, alcohol. Very small amount of it. So I figure this bowl is plenty big enough to hold 5%. And I actually fill it up to about three quarters of the way full, which is going to be well more than 5%. I'm not a math genius. I can't tell you exactly how much it's going to be. It all varies on fill and how I'm feeling at the time and how long it's taking. Um, but I just try to fill this up. And then after I fill it up, then I take it out and I test it with my alcohol meter, which um, you don't have to have. Once you fill the bowl up, shut the heat off, take this out, dump this in your jar. And you're going to have alcohol. You're going to have a very strong alcohol. Um, now, thermometer. You don't have to have a thermometer if you don't want to. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You just have to check it. And every time you open it up, steam is going to come out. And that steam is alcohol vapors. And if you're using an open flame, that can be dangerous. But for me, I'm using a hot plate, so it's not going to be as bad. Um, I also have a thermometer like this that comes out. It can go right inside. So I can watch the temperature without... Um, without opening the lid. It's convenient. But you can also just put a temp thermometer in there. Uh, it's up to you. Just make sure you understand what you're doing before you do it. Make sure you are well aware of the dangers and the poisons and everything that can happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my um, sugar wine into my pot and put my, a bowl on top. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to get it to temperature. And then I'll be back. So we're back. 
I got my thermometer right here. It's reading about 164. So I'm getting ready to pull it out. Uh, I'm coming to kind of judge how everything's going by the temperature of my water and how fast my water changes temperature. Um, and also once I get it up to like 167, 170, then I'm going to kick this down to, you know, medium. Kick my heat down, and I just want it to slowly raise, as slow as it can go. And also, I can watch this thing as it goes. Or I have a light that comes on and off, and it lets me know when um, when the heat kicks back on. So that's just simple ways to help me judge how fast it's boiling, how fast my alcohol is boiling off. And then I'll just pick it up and peek. It's not going to be a big deal, but I'm going to... Uh, Let's go for a minute, and then when I get my methanol cut done, then I'll be back. All right, so I pulled my methanol cut. I put it in here. Um, can't really see it, so it's not a big deal. But to check to see if there's alcohol, take a nice spoonful of it. Got my handy-dandy lighter. And then I light it on fire. I don't know if you can see that or not. Well, you can see a little bit of it. It's definitely on fire. Now I'm just going to let this go. I got it pretty much turned down to almost warm. So I'm just going to let it go until it fills my bowl all the way up. Or three quarters of the way up. And then we will test it, see how well we're doing. Check my water temp. Water temp's good. All right, I'll see you when we're done boiling. All right, I'm back. Now. Um, I finished distilling as much as I really cared to do at this time, just enough to get a reading off this so you can see that it actually does physically work. I'll be using a high, an alcohol meter, not a hydrometer, this is an alcohol meter. This meter only works on pure alcohol, real alcohol, with nothing else in the water. Um, so that's why you don't use it when you're doing fermentation, you only use do it after distillation. Alcohol meter looks like a hydrometer, but it works differently. So I have my bowl here with alcohol in it, which I'm assuming is alcohol. I'm going to dump it into my alcohol meter. Or dump it into my, my graduated cylinder. Um, still pretty hot, so well, let's just give it a gander, see what kind of alcohol we're sitting at. So this says we're right at 60% alcohol. Let's see if I can see this. There you go. Sixty percent alcohol. So, if you make your sugar wine and you want to make it into more of a a whiskey, that is a perfect way to do it without any stills or without any kind of equipment. Just a couple bowls in the pan or a pot. Another thing I forgot to tell you is you can use a glass bowl too. Glass bowl seems to work a lot better because you can see inside of it, so you can see the actual dripping. Or you can just use the lid. Just put the lid on, concaved, put it on upside down, put your water and ice on top of here, and it'll do the same thing. It's going to reach in the middle and it'll usually run down the handle and drip into your bowl. The lid, I've used the lid a lot of times. I've only recently started using the stainless steel pot method, but the stainless steel pot method is a lot. You don't have to change the water out as much, so I enjoy doing the stainless steel pot method really well. Um, now, if I were to fill this all the way up, if I were to fill this, sorry, this little bowl all the way up, um, it would have been more in the 30% alcohol range. But the less you fill this up, the more alcohol, because it's going to have less water in it. Um, there you go. That's easy distilled alcohol. All right, I'm Wilson. Don't forget to leave a comment. Subscribe and watch my other videos.